everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little DIY page. It's actually going to be more of a project that's going to probably take me some time, but I, I think I might make a series of it featuring each one of these books that I plan on doing a page for. And I actually got this idea from one of my friends, Lila, who you can find here on, on YouTube and on Instagram under LB Novelties. She is... She's fantastic. She has amazing ideas. I get tons of ideas and inspiration from her. And I highly suggest giving her a follow. I'll make sure to put down in the description the links to her Instagram and her YouTube. So that way you can give her a follow. Because she's the one that inspired me to do this page. And it's basically an inventory to keep, keep track of inventory of your sticker books. But in a cute, fun way. So um, I'm going to... I'm just going to get into doing what what she did for her for her pages and it's basically all you need is just some I'm going to use a mini page. This is where I keep all of my mini paper like the extra all the filler paper I have. So I'm just going to grab one of these mini ones and I think I'm just going to do this one since I can buy these. These are the ones you can buy in a pack and just restock on them. So I'm just going to use this paper right here. It's just a graph paper. And I'm going to, so she used, and I'll make sure to insert a picture so you can kind of see my inspiration as to what I'm talking about. Um, but she used these little journaling stickers to make a little sticker book up in the corner, which I thought was, like I said, it's super, super cute. Um, I only have one of these sticker books and I have, oh my gosh, over a hundred sticker books. So... I won't be able to use these. I mean, I could start using them now, but I don't have very many. This is the only page I have. So I think I'm just going to make my own with some Avery shipping label paper and just cut them out to that size. So that way I can make a cute little sticker for over here in the corner like she did. And, and then basically just write out, you know, the name of the book. Um, how many pieces are in it, how many I have. I think I have three of these. And a little description of what's inside of this book. Um, I love this book. This is, this is why I started with this one. This is one of my favorite sticker books. Definitely one of my favorite. Uh, this is my ultimate favorite one of all the little squad goal like of these girls this particular one is my favorite one it's just too adorable and I love it so much so that's why I wanted to start off with this one because I figured it'd be really cute to um to make a page for, for one of my favorite ones so yeah I'm going to use this to help me get down all the things that are in this sticker book like that there's checklists I think are there checklists in here no there's there's decorative there's boxes there's bullet points um, just things like that that you can find in the sticker book. And then I'll probably put some of the stickers down. Um, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. It's just for fun um, and just a cute way to keep track of all of your all of your books and something to do. Right now, if you don't have anything to do, this is a great way to, to spend some time and, and look through your books. So that's what I plan on doing in this video. Okay, so I'm going to take this Avery Shipping Label paper. I'm going to draw a box. Um, it's going to be one and three quarters by 1.2. So I'm just going to draw that out. I'm actually going to do it off camera so I can get close and make sure I'm doing it right because it's kind of hard for me to see the measurements on here. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw that out right now with my Erin Condren pen. I'm going to use this fine tip right there. Okay, so I got my box and you can make it any size you want. This is actually the size that the journaling stickers are. So. If you want to do it the same exact size as those stickers, then that'll be the measurement. But you can always make it a little bit bigger or smaller, however you want. Or you don't even have to do this part because it's the kind of the more tedious part. But it's super, super cute, and that's why I'm doing it. And um, so I'm going to just add in the little details because she made it look like a little sticker book. And like I said, it was super adorable, and that's why I'm trying to recreate it to the best of my ability. Um, so I'm just going to draw... Because she drew like a black strip right down here. So I'm going to draw that. I'm going to put just a little black strip down here. And then I'll just color that in in a bit. And then I'm going to do this part right here. So I guess I'll make it 
And here I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it super exact or anything like that. And I'm going to do a little strip for that pinkish purple color. Like that. And then um, I want to draw the lines. I think I want to include this little flag, though. I don't have any white, like a gel pen or anything. I need to get one of those because those are really handy. But um, maybe I'll write that in later. But I do want to include that little flag in here and then draw the stripes. Um, so I'm going to, I have some of these Arteza pens. I'm going to see which ones of these it kind of matches up with this color. I don't think it's going to be an exact match. But I have a couple of purples that I can try out. So I'm going to get some scrap paper. I'm going to use this paper right here. And see which one works. I mean, that one's not too horrible. So there's that one. Oh, that one's probably a little bit better because it's more pinkish. So, okay, so that one. And let me try this one. Oh, no, that's too red. So I'm going to use that one. Like I said, it's not an exact match, but it's close enough for me. So I think I'm going to draw out a little flag like that, and then I'll color it in with that marker. So I'm going to draw the flag out. I'm going to actually do that off camera too, just so I can see it a little bit better, but that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I was actually going to use a ruler to draw this out, but I think I'm just going to use my pencil and just eyeball it. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. For me, it doesn't. So I'm just going to draw some two, two lines right here and just the little flag ending part like that. And then I'm just going to go over that with my marker. All right, so I drew that out. It's I didn't use a ruler. I just drew it out by hand. It's not perfect, but it you kind of get the idea of what it is, and I think it looks really cute. So next I'm going to take this marker right here, and I'm going to draw in just this little area that should be that pinkish purple color. Just like that. And then um, I'm going to draw in these lines. So I'm going to take this, yeah, I'm going to take my Erin Condren pen and I'm going to just draw out some of these lines. All right, so I drew out everything. I colored in the black on the bottom and I colored in that little flag. I think it looks really cute. It's kind of like the sticker book, which I love. And um, I'm going to take one of the stickers from this book. And I'm just going to use it in here just to have one of the stickers on this page. I think I'm going to take this flower because I think it's really cute. I'm probably going to put it in here. And I'll just have to cut off the extra parts that are coming off the page. So I'm going to take my little X-Acto knife and cut this off. Alright, so I think that looks really cute. And then I have a sticker of the sticker book. Once I cut this out, I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors, just going along the sides. Just leaving a little bit of white around the edges. Okay, and now I have a really cute little sticker that I can add onto the page. Okay, so that's going to be the most like tedious part of this if you want to replicate this like I wanted to that um I just wanted to because the way that Lila did it, it was really really cute um she even got a white paper pen like I said earlier and wrote um stickers on the bottom it's really cute I have to get one of those little white jelly pens to do that but um at least I have a little sticker book sticker and it's really really cute so I'm gonna take I'm gonna actually start decorating the page so I have my page right here I'm gonna stick this up in the corner like that, since this represents the Squad Goals sticker book. I'm just going to line it up on this first line that's on this page. That's a good thing about the grid paper. You can line it up with the little grid lines. And then I'm going to write, I think I'm going to write Squad Goals. I'm going to write it in with pencil, just 
because I'm not sure on spacing, but I'm going to write squad goals. Like that. And then I think I'm going to write, she put um, the number of stickers in the book. So I'm going to put 819 pieces. And then the quantity of the sticker books that I have, which is three. Like that. I think I might skip a line. Oops, sorry, it's like shaking really bad. Um, just put a little bit more space and put 819 pieces here. Just a little bit of space in between the title. And then quantity three. Because I, like I said, I love that sticker book so much. All right, so I'm gonna go over that, go over that with, um, my Erin Condren pen and then I can move on to the next step. All right, so I wrote down all of that and I really like how that looks. So next I wanna decorate the bottom because I wanna add stickers from these books into this page. So I'm thinking I wanna do, I'm gonna start summer and I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna do this little border with the sun sunglasses. I think this will be really cute. I'm only going to get three, I think, because I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up to a different season. I'm just going to put that on the bottom. And I'm going to get one of the girls from this book, from the summer section. Okay, I'm going to get this one right here where she has the little ice cream. I'm going to put her here like that. And then I think I'm going to cut off some of this just so I can have the next one meet up. And I think the, ne the next one's going to be spring. So I'm going to get this spring one. And I'm going to cut a little bit off. And add that right here. I'll probably have to cut a little bit more off too once I add the girl on. Um, and I already pulled some. I really like this one. I feel like this is a good way to put your favorite stickers. Like I really love this girl right here. I'm gonna put her sunny next to there and I'm just gonna cut off some of these. I'm gonna cut off this last one. And then I'm gonna get the fall one. Oh, I actually have one over here. Another one of my favorite ones that I already pulled, which is this one right here on the bike. She's really cute. Oh, actually, I'm going to put the, the fall ones on the bottom. I think I'm going to do the leaves. These are really cute. So I'm going to go up to this one and cut that. this here like that and then I have room for one more girl which I think I'm gonna pull a different one I pulled one but I think I'm gonna pull a different one if I can find a different one okay this one hopefully she fits And then I'm just going to put some of the little, I might cut this one, just so I can put more of the winter one down. And I think I'll do the green. Do these ones right over here. So that, those are the decorations for this 
page and I love how that looks it looks really really cute has a little bit of each of the themes in this sticker book so you kind of know what's in each what's in this sticker book all right so the next thing I'm going to do is just do a little description of the things that are in this book and I'm going to do that with I'm going to get some bullet points that way I can list off the things that you can find in this book so I'm going to put one right here and I'm going to use this micron because it's a, a fine tip and I'm just going to write seasonal on this line because that's the main thing in this book is that it's a seasonal sticker book and then I'm just going to alternate each one I'm going to go to the spring one next got spring and then I'm just going to take one of these little flags that I like to use as bullet points and just start listing out more of the things like um, there's colorful boxes in here there's check there's um Oh, no, there's not checklist. I mean, there's checklist. I'll put checklist boxes and that there's washi stickers like this. Um, there's florals. There's, I think only three of the seasons have florals. Summer didn't have florals, but I think all the other, yeah, all the other seasons have florals. There's bullet points. There's headers. So I'm just going to list out all the things that, um, that I like that are in this book. And I'm just going to put them all in a list right here, alternating the bullet point, bullet point colors. All right, so I wrote out all of the different things that I can find in this sticker book. I have all of the different seasons of the girls and some decorative stickers down here. I really, really love how this turned out. It's super, super cute. Um, I'm just going to stick it into, I have some mini, like, happy notes. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm not sure yet, but I really love this cover. So I think I'm going to use this one just to start collecting them in. Um, and then I'll just, you know, use the back to do a new one. Like I said, I love how this turned out. It's just a super fun, creative way to inventory your sticker books. And I really like that I'm able to put some of my favorite stickers right here and just keep, keep track of them this way and always have them in this book. It's really, really cute. I love how this turned out. Let me know if you plan on making one of your own of these little inventory pages. Um, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a lot of it's a lot of work making that little sticker book. But um, if you just do this, it's it, it goes by pretty quick. Um, and I really, I really love how it turned out. So please give Lila a follow because she's amazing and she's the one that came up with this idea. Um, so make sure to give her a follow. I'll make sure to link the. The video where she did this too um but yeah please give her a follow because like i said she has amazing ideas uh, i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys all in the next one